everyone. Welcome to Bonding Buzz. I'm here with my colleague, Jackie Lewis, and we are here with the talented actor, director, screenwriter, Ted Lang, best known as his role as the bartender, Isaac Washington, in the hit iconic TV series, The Love Boat. Ted, it's a pleasure to talk to you. We're here to talk about your new movie, Blood Pageant, which was great. It's, you know, it's hard. It's got some comedy aspects to it. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun, actually, watching this movie. So, um, yeah, it's a before- horror movie that's actually funny. And it has some fun moments in it, some beautiful women in it. Oh, and yeah. uh, Snoop Dogg is in it with me, along with uh, Stephen Baldwin. Yeah, it's got an amazing cast. So uh, you play like kind of the the host of the, the American Dream pageant. So I don't know. Yeah. Did you ever get to like interact with the other cast? I don't know if you shot on different days or anything. No, or... no, no. We shot on different things. But, uh, you know, uh, as the host of the show, I... I was doing my Steve Harvey, Wayne Brady impression. <laughs> you did a great <laughs> and, job. Uh, that was really funny. Yeah. So we had fun, you know, and uh, I, I love the concept of, uh, you know, putting these girls in a house and then one by one, they start disappearing. So that was a fun aspect. Yeah. It, and it's definitely fun, like kind of reversing the script on seeing how kind of reality shows are kind of shot. Cause I mean, I've been on a couple of reality shows, you know, so it's that that's fun. You have. It's actually Which shows moment. have you been on? Oh, I was on this show called Collection Intervention on the Sci-Fi Channel, and then uh, I was on CeeLo Green's The Good Life uh, once. So, but my whole, all my speaking roles oh, in that show got taken out. <laughs> well, but yeah, the Collection yeah, Intervention was the pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. So uh, there's definitely some like fun uh, horror aspects to it too. You know, I really enjoyed it. So. So, Ted, The Love Boat celebrated its 40th anniversary um, a few years ago. Um, How does it feel to be part of such an iconic role um, as Isaac Washington, the bartender? Yeah, well, we didn't know it was going to be such a hit. As a matter of fact, uh, when, when we started the show, cruising was just for elderly people at the end of their life. And then when the show hit, it changed the whole cruise industry so that they started taking younger people on cruises and kids went on cruises and things like that. And the fun part for me was that I found out later that when uh, a couple went on the cruise and they'd meet the bartender, they just call him Isaac. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they grew a mustache like mine so they could get better tips. (laughs) <laughs> yeah well, that's amazing yeah you must have been on a million cruises and i hope princess treats you very well that that was a boom in the industry with all of you guys with all the casting crew yeah yeah they were uh, uh i've been around the world with them you know so there's nothing wrong with that if you like to travel if you don't like to travel you're in trouble but uh thank goodness i like to travel so i've been everywhere from australia to hong kong from uh, where else, Uh, London, England, you know, down to the Greek Isles, all over the world, it's great. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, and what a a beloved show for everybody, especially, I watch it now because, you know, in these tough times, it's such a beautiful show, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's fun, it's light. You got on the cruise, you had a problem with love and by the time the show ended, you had solved the problem. Right. And it was a feel good show. And that was yes. the beauty of the show, it was a feel good show. Yeah. And then plus we caught a lot of people on their ascendancy as celebrities. Right. You know? And then we resurrected some celebrities that hadn't been in front of the camera for a while. So that was another fun aspect to the show was, you know, you're seeing people that you hadn't seen in the movies in a long time. They were on the television show. And, you know, we did an episode about uh, dress designers. And I understand that a lot of people that watched that uh, decided to go into designing clothes. You know, <laughs> then we we did musicals on there with uh, Ethel Merman and, uh, you know, Della Reese. So the, the show had a nice impact in the way that things were presented. 
Oh, definitely. And how cool for you. You probably met practically everyone in show business past and present. So that must have been just exciting. Not only that, they had great stories that they would tell you. They say, listen, kid, this isn't in the books, <laughs> but here's That's what happened. Wow. <laughs> you know, so that was fun, too, is that uh, as a young up and coming actor to sit in a bar in Hong Kong with Gene Kelly and he's telling you stories about the Nicholas brothers, you know, I mean, it was, it wow. was just a great time. Yeah. So now we, and I'm not sure if you've already done one. Have you done a memoir yet, Ted? I'm in the process of writing something. So we'll see, you know, it takes oh, time. And uh, the old memory isn't is that, you know, sometimes I have to call up Bernie Coppell for a and say, Hey, did this happen like this or did it happen a different way? You know? So yeah, I'm right. writing something. Yeah. Oh, good. Wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Ted, I know you good also stories. Uh, directed. Good stories. Um, stories you, you, that will entertain you. Huh? I said, yeah, I know you, you also direct and write. Uh, do you have any upcoming projects or anything you're working on that you're allowed to talk about? Yeah. Um, if you go on Amazon, I have uh, about a half dozen plays that I've written. You just go Ted Lange and then Amazon, you look for the books. I have a thing called the uh, Footnote Historians Trilogy, which is about American history from a black mm -hmm. point of view. In other words, uh, one book is called George Washington's Boy, and it's about George Washington's favorite slave. So you know how everybody's saying, well, we got to do now, we got to look at history from a different way. Well, I did that about 10 years ago. I wrote uh, these different plays, historical plays, but I, I came at it from the person that isn't normally looked at, which is like maybe an ex-slave. Mm -hmm. uh, in I wrote a play about John Brown, and uh, I wrote a play about... Uh, a spy in the Confederacy of Jeff Davis's White House. He had a girl. Oh, gross... really? Yeah, he had. I'm, a all, gross... I'm always fascinated with Civil War history. I definitely want to check that out. You know? Yeah, it's on Amazon. It's called the Footnote Historians Trilogy. Mm -hmm. And the reason I call myself a Footnote Historian is mm -hmm. because anytime I was looking for information about Black people, they were always footnotes. Oh, <laughs> oh. Wow. Yes, I call it a footnote historian's trilogy, but it's on Amazon. And then I got on YouTube, I, I, I wrote some Shakespeare stuff. Uh, I wrote uh, a Shakespearean play about Shylock from, if you ever see Merchant of Venice, my play picks up when Shylock is off stage. Wow. He comes back on stage, you're in the Shakespeare play. And then when he goes back off stage, you're in my play. And so that was a play written because it dealt with immigrants. And I was kind of uh, upset that some, some people were not uh, sympathetic to immigrants. And so I wrote this play because Shylock is in Venice, Italy in the 1500s. He's an immigrant. And I have him talk to Othello, who was wow. also an immigrant. And so they talk about what it's like to be in, this, in Venice, Italy you know, at this time in the 1500s. So it, it turned out well. So that's on YouTube. It's called The Tears of Shylock. And I have uh, another play which deals with who really wrote the Shakespeare plays because there's been a controversy going on for 400 years as to yes. whether Shakespeare wrote the plays. So I wrote, I did some research on that and I wrote a play about it called Shakespeare Over My Shoulder. So I got my little projects that I do. And then when someone says, hey, you want to be in a horror movie? I go, whoa, yeah, <laughs> that sounds like fun. And uh, so I do some acting. I do some directing of stage plays and theater. And then I do uh, uh, my playwriting. Wow. So talented. I love it. <laughs> well, it's fun, you know. And uh, the, th the way things started out for me, it didn't... It was people discouraged if you were a young black artist, they discouraged you from going into show business because there weren't that many people in there mm. at the time, you know. So they said, Well, you, maybe you should be an auto mechanic or maybe you should be a plasterer. And then, but I, my drama teacher, I was very lucky. My drama teacher said to me, Hey, you can do this and I think you'll be successful. And so I didn't listen to the common sense people, I listened to my drama teacher. Oh, 
Yeah, thank goodness. I mean, yeah. there couldn't have been every single character on that show. I mean, and everything you've done since. I mean, they're just no, you're you're irreplaceable. So thank goodness you did listen. You know. Well, Jackie, thank situation. you very much. You're very kind. Now, are you in Florida too? Are you in Orlando? Oh no, Jackie's still. In, she's in Burbank. Yeah. I've met you. I've met you a few times, but you meet a lot of people. So I'm a lot of. I'm in a lot of the Hollywood Museum and different events. So oh, I'll, I'll be sure. Yeah. Next I'll be sure. Time, come up to me and shake me and go, "Hey, we zoomed <laughs> together." Yes, I will. I'm going to do that for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do but you know I, Paul Mooney? Do you know Paul Mooney? Yes, yes. You know they're having a memorial thing for him on Wednesday here? No. At the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Paul, I, I, I take this moment, Steve, because Paul yes. Mooney was a good friend of mine mm -hmm. yeah. and a lot of uh, comedians looked up to him. Anyway, oh, Jackie... They're having a memorial service 1.30 at the Hollywood Roosevelt this Wednesday. Okay, if definitely. Because I also work with a comedian who knew him very well. So I'll, I'll let you, maybe we can go there. That'd be yeah, great. yeah. It's, it's open to the public. And if I if you happen to be there and we see each other, just go like this. Hey, Zoom. <laughs> I will. Well, thank you, Ted, for joining us today on BonicBuzz.com. Everyone check out Blood Pageant. It'll be available on all major streaming platforms on June 29th, followed by DVD at major online realtors on July 20th.